I have a special treat for you all today. My dear friend and former college roommate is here from the Johnson Space Center in Houston to talk to us about our space program. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. These guys were roomies. How does one go on to be a, a fancy scientist at NASA and the others teaching freshman science at a public high school? Yeah, Sheldon. I was thinking that. Thank you. All right, uh, let's give a warm welcome to my good buddy, Dr. Ronald Hodges. Hey kids, hey, glad to be here. And uh, Hubert, the answer to your question is, one of those roomies was busy studying while the other was out chasing high school girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be clear, they were all over 18. Yeah. <laughs> now, what I thought would be fun to talk about today is what NASA's planning on doing beyond the space shuttle. Things like the first manned mission to Mars, uh, yeah. Did you see the movie Aliens? I did. Did you think it was cool? Uh, sure, I enjoyed it. Me too. Football player, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> now, of course, before we can set out to explore the solar system, we've got a few minor problems to overcome, not the least of which is every time we launch, it costs the U.S. taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes? If you want to save money, why don't you land the booster rockets instead of letting them drop in the ocean? <laughs> That's a cute idea, but uh, it's not technically possible. Why not? Well, it's hard to explain. The math is pretty complicated. Perhaps I could help you with it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> I bet you could. I'll tell you what, here is a NASA patch. Why don't you have your mom sew that on your book bag? Now, who here wants to know how astronauts go to the bathroom? Oh, right. See, now, during liftoff, all the astronauts wear diapers. People often wonder why I chose to pursue a career in theoretical physics. I usually respond by saying I wanted to unravel the inner workings of the universe. Yeah, perhaps when Captain Kirk said to boldly go, he meant in one of those, huh? <laughs> but the real answer was I wanted to prove this nincompoop wrong. Right. Beat me up potty. <laughs>